take you further up the mountain, residents appeared to escape without damage. Our Wilson Walker rode out the storm near Lake Arrowhead and found a silver lining when it comes to water storage. Oh, it's, it's awesome up here. It's the best place to live in Southern California. You know, we're 20 degrees cooler than anywhere else. At about 4,500 feet with steep wooded hillsides in every direction, the Arrowhead Treetop Lodge sits right on top of a confluence of small waterways. The, from the 173 up here, we've got the storm drain that comes down here, comes into this here, comes into our, our stream here. We also have three other storm drains over here. Yeah, that, 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 so that across the mountains, the people, people like Bruce Cardwell storm. spent the final okay. hours ahead of the storm checking every possible trouble spot, unsure of what was coming. Right, we made sure to clean all our drains and everything, uh, to make sure so we were prepared for it. And as the evening settled in, so did the storm, picking up intensity as it pushed up against the mountains, bringing tremendous rain and intense winds. Bulk of the weather really didn't get into the high country here until late on Sunday night. A lot of discussion about whether or not this would look like what they're used to seeing in this area, they do get a lot of rain here. The place is built to move water, but was it going to work like they are accustomed to seeing? Or would this storm prove to be something different? This was something out of the ordinary. Never, uh, never here. Uh, I've seen rain like that in other parts of the country. Never here, and so. Nathan Godwin was... is general manager of Lake Gregory, which jumped several feet in a matter of hours. Just yesterday, we started yesterday uh, about a foot and a half up and we're over four feet over now. So normally we drive around this edge of the lake here. The edge uh, of the lake is now littered with everything that came flowing down the hillsides overnight, but the storm drains did their job. There were no major problems, just some cleaning up to do after a night of very atypical weather. All in all, for for how much water we had, we fared pretty well. The remnants of Hillary, really just another weather story for folks up here. The grocery store for this community actually collapsed under the weight of tremendous snowfall back in March. So a remarkable year of weather punctuated by a tropical system when we are normally talking about the risk of fire danger. Wilson, thank you.